Good evening. I'm your guest lecturer, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> I was expecting applause. <laughs> But I suppose stunned silence is equally appropriate. <laughs> I agreed to speak to you this evening because I was told that you're the best and the brightest of this university's doctoral candidates. Hmm. Of course, that's like saying you're the most important electron in a hydrogen atom. Because <laughs> you see, there's only one electron in a hydrogen atom. Best and brightest, my sweet patootie. All right, <laughs> let's begin. Show of hands. Who here is familiar with the concept of topological insulators? <laughs> Don't kid yourselves. I found another tweet from a student at Sheldon's lecture. Dr. Cooper has taken a relatively boring subject and managed to make it completely insufferable. <laughs> Plus, he looks like a giant insect. <laughs> Listen to this one. Does Einstein's theory explain why time flies when you're having fun, but when you're listening to Dr. Cooper, it falls out of the sky bed? <laughs> oh, somebody took pictures and uploaded them to their Flickr account. Oh. Wow. How do you get an entire lecture hall to flip you off at the same time? <laughs> Apparently, if you're Sheldon, all you need to do is turn your back. <laughs> Leonard, is your Wi-Fi down? I can't get on. Oh, Sheldon changed the password. It's now Penny is a freeloader. <laughs> no spaces. Thanks. What are you guys doing? Sheldon gave a lecture at the university tonight. We're reading the reviews. Oh, how'd he do? Well, picture the Hindenburg meets Chernobyl meets Three Mile Island meets Tron 2. <laughs> that bad, huh? Read this woman's tweet. Listening to Dr. Cooper has made me want to start cutting myself again. Yeah. <laughs> well, good evening, Leonard, Howard, Raj, freeloader. <laughs> so, how'd the lecture go? In a word, triumphant. Really? Triumphant? Oh, yes. You should have seen those young people. They're thirsty for knowledge, drinking in my wisdom. I may have changed a few lives today. <laughs> Oh, please let me tell him. I don't know, I kind of promised Howard. Tell me what? Actually, we should all share the moment, Raj, if you would. Oh, tweets about my lecture. <laughs> hmm. That's rather unfair. That's downright cruel. Plus, insects have six legs. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the acronym KMN. Oh, uh, from the context, we think it means kill me now. <laughs> well, suppose everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I think I'll turn in. I want to teach those poopy heads anyway. <laughs> FYI, I think that's what Darth Vader said just before he started building the Death Star. <laughs> Dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Sheldon's still moping. Yeah, it's weird. Even though he didn't want to give the lecture in the first place, being rejected by those students really hit him hard. Mm. I know the feeling. It's like accidentally walking into a gay bar and then having no one hit on you. <laughs> it, it happened to a friend of mine. Are you guys doing okay? Yeah, Leonard and I are fine, but I think Raj needs to meet a girl really soon. <laughs> That shouldn't be too hard. He's such a cutie. Thank you, but cute is for bunnies. I want to be something with sex appeal, like, like a labradoodle. <laughs> labradoodle? We might be starting to zero in on your problem. Don't you listen to them. You've got plenty of sex appeal. You really think so? Yeah, you're a hottie. Thanks, Bernadette. <laughs> 